a good question um, because there's too much conversation and how do you uh, move the conversation on. Um, I think a good way to do this for the woman, the woman needs to uh, not uh, wait and wait and wait because the man does not know what she's waiting for. Um, the best thing I would say to the woman is simply to tell the man, you're very interesting to me. Um, um, I'd like to get to know you better. Um, do you, what do you think? A ask him. You say, I'm very, in you, you are very interesting to me, or I'm interested in getting to know you better. And then you ask them, what do you think? And this is a, uh, for American man, this is a, a good, uh, big clue. This is, oh, she wants to get to know me better, not just talk. So, um, um, if the woman either asks for a gift, please give me a gift, or asks for a little money, um, this man will very quickly delete her profile. Why? Uh, because um, this is uh, actually considered a little rude, uh, uh, bad behavior, and this, to a man, a man would think, ah, she's only interested in money or she's interested in me buying her some gift. Um, uh, traditional, uh, even though gifts are very common, uh, tradition for American man is that a gift you give to a person because you want to give them the gift, not because you are expected to give a gift. This is very different. Um, so if you want to get to know um, if you want to understand if an American man uh, is serious and likes you, uh, you need to do differently. You should just, again, uh, ask him. Um, and you ask him um, not by asking him, are you interested in me? Because, again, American men would find that to be very pushy, aggressive. And they would say, ah, what, why? You, you ask in a different way. You Wait, a are you going to marry me? That's right. Are you going to marry me? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very strange question. Um, on, on all the dating profiles for Russian women, they always put to find a mate and have a family. And this is a very strange, um, very strange uh, for American men to, to read this. Um, they understand, but it's very strange. <sighs> because um, American men um, more uh, think first to find the person and they want to um, uh, get to know the person, make sure this is the right person, fall in love, be romantic, do all these things. And the family happens anyway. It's just it's just different. Um, so um, again, there are there are what I'm trying to say is there are lots of different ways to find out what you want to know to ask this. So um, to understand um, how you can ask this question and, and get this answer, you just need to say it a little differently. Um, you get the same information. Again, if you, if you tell um, um, the man that you're writing to um, that you say is talk, 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 talk. If you, if you then tell this man, I, I, I find you very interesting. You are, you're very um, attractive to me. You can say this. You can say you're attractive to me, but um, I think that um, that's very flattering. Um, also, you can say you're very interesting to me or I like you. You can say I like you. That's, that's very nice, too. And um, you can say I'd like to get to know you better. Or, or you can ask them also, how can we get to know each other better? You ask this question, I'd like to get to know you better or how can we get to know each other better? What do you have any ideas? And then the American man says, oh, okay. So, um, absolutely, yes, he should. He should You're right, he should, do he should do something, that's right. Okay.
Because if if not, you're right. American men sometimes can talk, 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 and and they they don't know um, that is much more common that um, Russian women or something expect the American man to be much more aggressive to go forward. Um, this um, there is no um, like formula. Uh, with Americans, uh, if an American man's dating American a woman, um, it's the same as um, the other thing where somebody asks a question. Come on, let's 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 find out what we're doing. Uh, for some um, hmm, some people meet, date two, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, decide this is the perfect person for me. All done. Let's go. Go get married. And some people take forever. It, it, there's no um, tradition. There's no tradition. Um, so, uh, again, I, I understand for the Russian woman that this is, um, they, they're they on uh, the dating site because they want to find a husband. They want to um, have a family, make a family. So, again, um, Understand, American man is is not uh, against this, but sometimes you need to understand how to push the right way, ask the right question. Um, um, we had the same thing, the discussion before, whether American men see uh, Russian women as being pushy, um, and I think um, I don't. I think the Russian women is is not um, hmm, pushy, but the Russian woman wants something. She wants to get married. She wants to have a family. She does not want to be on the dating site forever. She does not want to talk, 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 talk. She wants to, let's go. What are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Why? What next? What next? What next? What next? Exactly. When you will come. When you will come. Exactly. So again, um, help, help the American man. And to do this, just understand, just Ask these questions, and again, a good way for to that American men understand. First, you say something nice. You understand the word flatter, to flatter. When, for example, I tell you you're very beautiful, you're very pretty, I am flattering you. I'm giving you compliment. So if you tell an American man, um, I'm very interested in you, or I like you, this is flattery. This American man feels very good about this. She likes me. Ah, oh, exactly. So if you tell him that, that I am interested in you, I like you, how can we get to know each other better? This is pushing down the pedal on the car to drive faster. This will help. Okay. Um, two, two different things, but yes, there are scams. Um, as... A Russian woman, if an American man that you're talking to does not want to move quickly, you have to make a choice um, whether to stay talking to this man or not. If you say yes, or, or if you just want to understand more, all you do is, is ask, um, are you afraid of a scam? Okay, because there are lots of scams out there. Um, if the man says, yes, I'm afraid of a scam, um, then all you can do is say, no, I'm, I'm a real person. Let's uh, video chat. Let's talk a little bit. You can see my face. I'll walk around, show you my flat, or I'll walk and show you my town. American men would love to see this. Love to see not just you all dressed up in all your makeup, but also walk around, show them your cat. Show them outside where you have a little plant outside and Take outside on the sidewalk and show them what your town looks like. They love that, that you are a real person. Um, and then see if they still say, I still want to move slow, then I don't know. Maybe you want to move slow also, or maybe you say, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, uh, one uh, woman, mm. you know, Victoria... <laughs> She asked before questions uh. and Miller, and she asked again if Russian women have 
has a visa and she can come to America uh -huh. for a month, for uh -huh. two months, for uh -huh. three months, for six months. Uh -huh. uh, how she can find a husband here? Uh -huh. What is the best way? <laughs> I think that she should just plan a vacation uh, and have a good time, but I think it would be very difficult to come and plan and, ha and try and find a husband here. That's probably um, possibility of success is not good uh, this way. So uh, uh, again, uh, if you are here, there is um, lots of competition, lots of competition uh, among women for men and lots of competition uh, uh, among men for women. So I, I don't think that's a good idea. I think if you want to come and you want to be a tourist and see lots of places and travel around, you may meet somebody, you may have a fantastic time, but um, I don't think it's a good idea. And again, uh, the visa, the whole visa problem um, this is terrible. So you cannot, you used to be able to come, get married, make no, an application no, no, no. stay. No, she asked about uh, how she can find a good person here in by, USA. By coming here? Yes. Yeah. Um, what is the best way? Go to hmm. this uh, website for Americans or what? Hmm. Or go to pubs or go to restaurants or go to some place where she can mm. find a, a husband. And you're just going meet. to be here where? where you can meet. Um, this is this is not even an easy thing for American women. There is no one thing if if uh, there is no one easy answer. If you're coming and um, the, the, the reason for you being here is because you want to try and meet um, um, someone that maybe you can maybe here you have like uh, you know, uh, dating company that's what i was going to say the best thing if this is what you want to do investigate there are dating agencies companies which will make introductions and different people that would be the best because no there is no good place like to go to uh, pubs or bars or to go to restaurants or to go to there, there is no one place no Everybody here, <laughs> the number one thing for dating in the United States for everything is internet. So you have the internet, same internet there. So you can look at everybody on the internet. If you want, you can be on the internet. You can make a lot of um, uh, a friend or something and say, I'll be here on this date. Would you like to meet? That's a possibility too. And then you come and you want to meet somebody and you meet this person in uh, Los Angeles, or you meet this person in Florida, or something like this. But you already met them first on the on the internet. Okay. I think it's uh, very similar because um, I think the same as uh, Russian women, American women want to be um, pursued. They want the man to uh, chase them a little bit. I think this is the same here. Um, so. Again, sometimes the same as in Russia, that um, they get introductions through friends, or maybe they meet at work, or maybe they meet in some social club, uh, they meet somebody, but um, mostly it's on internet. And the same here, the women on the internet, they put on a very good picture with all makeup and everything, make a nice profile. And then they wait for some men to send them a note. Same. In Russia, in Russia, this is not same. Because ah. if in Russia people uh, live in different cities mm. or like, uh, yes, towns, not same city and same town, it can be a problem. I see. Because this is expensive traveling. And they hmm. can talk only online. And of course, these women, they prefer foreigners because for foreigners, this is not so expensive like uh, for Russian men. Okay, I understand. Um, you're right. For American men, American men can travel from Los Angeles to New York 
um, to meet uh, a woman. But um, if an American man is dating or looking, a lot of times he will look first someplace where he can drive mm -hmm. to meet this uh, woman. Um, but if he does meet a woman who is someplace else in the in the country, um, he can go. But um, you're right, he, he can go, but so you go for one date and you have a fantastic uh, one, two day weekend and you come home, how do you have another date? This is the travel back and forth, but you, you can do this. But um, it's, it is very similar that the, the man should uh, pursue the woman and he should call her and he should maybe send her flowers and he should think of um, something special to do. Um, uh, I think this is very similar. And how long it takes time, this uh, dating, and what, how, uh, what? What is tradition here? If a if a if a um, a man and a woman find each other and they and they really feel that they are um, good um, partner, good for each other, good couple. Um, it used to be twenty years ago, thirty years ago. Of course, the marriage was very common. Everybody get married. Um, people still get married a lot, but not so much anymore. Uh, they 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 move together. Uh, sometimes the man will move uh, to the woman, but much more often, probably eighty percent, the woman moves to the man, and they and they form they form what they call here a committed relationship. It's the same as marriage, but not with the legal um, being married. American law, um, if a two people live together for a certain period of time, not even very long, two, three, four years, the American law treats them as if they're married anyway. So um, a lot of people um, today, they just don't get married because they do the same thing, but without marriage. Okay. It's not about money. It, uh, it gets complicated, it's especially if you, um, like you said, you're already been married once, maybe twice, maybe you're widowed, maybe you have children. This gets very complicated because of American law and it, um, it has to do with inheritance and, and money and finances and stuff like that. A lot of times at 40 years old here, uh, a woman also has a career, she has money, maybe she has her own home. Um, so this, these uh, money, these assets, people want to keep carefully. There's different things related to taxes. So people um, form the same relationship. Now you asked, again, how quickly do things move? Uh, is there a tradition? Really, uh, for uh, American men, if they find a woman that this is the... Um, a uh, woman they want to be with, um, they can f change their life, whether they marry, move in together, whatever they want to do. They can do this within one month, two months. This is very, okay. very common. Okay. So much, you know this, so much food. Americans eat way too much. And is this uh, good food or not good quality? Uh, American food, the quality is, is excellent on American food. The problem is there's too much of it, and Americans eat too much, but the quality is, is very, very good. Also, you and don't... Do you have, like, law about this good quality? Yeah. American foods are uh, inspected, and they're inspected by uh, usually government agencies, and the government agencies are honest in America. It is very, very unusual to find a government official who takes um, a bribe, money, and uh, they go to they go to prison. It's very, uh, very unusual. So you can trust. You can trust. Almost always, the water is very good. You just drink water from the the sink. The the food, the wine, everything is very good. Very good quality. You go to the market, and anything in the market that you like. Is all good quality product, um, so that's not a problem. Um, 
uh, yeah. Then you just experiment. You can ex expect if you come here uh, as a uh, from Ukraine or from Russia. Um, look at the, there are so many videos. Look at all these videos online, and then you come and you see all this stuff. It's it's like it's like a lot of the videos, and uh, if you the 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 the, the chances um, are probably that you're going to be in a city much more common because there's just more people. You're much more common. You're going to be in a city, and you might be in large cities. And the large cities um, have probably everything you can imagine in the cities. It's, it's um, safe. Uh, American cities are mostly safe. Um, this is probably no different than any other country. There's probably places where you go around. But uh, you... you uh, and uh, what uh, this woman can expect... Uh, about this traveling, because in Russia she usually earn enough money to travel like uh, to Europe, to Egypt, to Nice, uh, sure. uh, um, Thailand, sure. and uh, what she can expect if she move mm -hmm. here. Okay. Well, the first thing is you can expect that you will not be able to get a job to earn any money for a while because um, as an immigrant there's, there's a whole process to go through before you can legally work but let's say you you get your green card mm -hmm. and you can legally work most of um, your skill that you the education and uh, whatever you did in Russia is probably not going to help you to get a job um, here, so you won't, you maybe get something, a little money. Um, so this is a discussion that you need to have to begin with, with your, with your um, husband, whoever you're coming for. And, uh, but um, traveling, but inside the United States is very common. So um, you can uh, expect, again, talk to whoever you're marrying, you can expect that traveling is easy. It's not expensive always, and it's and it's very common, but much more common to travel inside the United States. Okay. If you live in what we call a flat, they call it or apartment, you rent. If you if you live in condominium, they're usually smaller uh, buildings, but you buy, and this is I think more similar to what you have in uh, Russia. Um, but a lot of the cities they have still. Um, a single a, f a home just for a family. Now there's not a lot of land around. It's small, small little grass in front, small little in the backyard. Something for a dog and something a pet. Okay. This is and common. For normal people, how big this? How old house? Much bigger, even for the normal person, and much bigger than what you have there. Um, if you have an apartment. Um, or if you have a condominium in um, uh, here, even in the cities, a small apartment is still, um, this may be similar to yours, one bedroom, um, a small little, uh, what they call living room, and a kitchen and a bathroom, this is the smallest. Uh, but families living, um, this is very unusual that families live in this small of an apartment. This is usually for a single person or when you first get married, two people in this. As soon as with family, it's much more common to have a larger place, two bedrooms, sometimes three bedrooms. If you have condominium, condominiums are usually very nice. You might have, um, uh, your condominium might have two floors, might have two, three bedrooms in there, two bathrooms, a lot of space. They're, they, they, they're very nice and, and all different, but very nice usually. And then a home, usually even the smallest home, the smallest homes have two to three bedrooms and a living room, uh, one, two bathrooms. Even the smallest home is fine for a family of four people comfortable on this. And then you've seen homes get here much larger. And 
even if you just have a um, job which uh, is um, average, uh, depending on what city. Different cities, the, the cost is higher or lower, but uh, for most people, um, even average uh, wages, you can afford to have a home. So um, it's very uncommon for Americans. Americans don't even know what you're talking about, have lots of questions. What is a dacha? They don't know. Nobody knows what this is, this second home in the country. Nobody knows this. Um, um, you know, Americans like to go and eat out. Fast food, there's fast food every place. Every, every um, city, every little town, everybody has McDonald's. Everybody has Kentucky Fried Chicken and Taco Bell and Burger King and all these things. The fast food, the food is uh, good quality, but these are... Um, inexpensive, cheap, cheap restaurants. These are not good. These are cheap. But um, even an average, even an average American family and might eat out. Going one. To this, uh, cheap Teenagers or people, sometimes old people who are just by themselves and they just want uh, something simple. Um, other people, this is common, uh, workers who want a quick lunch to drive through and get a quick hamburger, go to these. So, uh, <coughs> uh, But the, even the average American family will go to a restaurant at least maybe once a week. It's very common. And uh, for Americans, and this is a restaurant, not fast food, it's not expensive for Americans. As far as uh, traveling, uh, you said that this is common. They save up and take one trip a year. Americans will take two, three, four trips a year, very common. But some of them will be short. They may, may be um, three, four days um, when we have a holiday. Um, the normal work week is five days, Saturday and Sunday off. So Monday through Friday work, Saturday and Sunday off. But a lot of times there are holidays where you have four-day weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Americans love <laughs> go go out, go to the river, go to the beach, go someplace quick for four days. Then um, go. And, and uh, again about this restaurant, uh, like is a big family, lots of children, and uh, not uh, lots of money. They don't go to the restaurant or. This, mm. uh, they have food. they have different restaurants. They have some restaurants which are inexpensive. So if you have a big family and not much money, you take them to this um, cheap restaurant. And this is tradition because mm. it's poor common. People, yeah. Poor people in Russia. I don't know in Ukraine, but if especially big family, lots of children, children. I don't know. Maybe they didn't uh, go to this fast food because this is expensive. Right. Yeah. Um, again, um, you're you're talking about whether it's tradition or whether it's common. Um, I uh, and that is different here. Um, it's common. Even if you're if you're a big family with not much money, it is common to go to a restaurant. The restaurant that does not cost very much, but go to a and restaurant. Is it good food or not good quality food? What it's it? it's um, it's good food. It's it's maybe not always the healthiest food. The food too much bread, too much starch and things that make you fat. Cheap mm -hmm. cheap thing because to make the food uh, cheap or inexpensive, they use inexpensive. Um, ingredients, but they're 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 not poison. Uh, they just make you fat. And not spoiled. Not spoiled. No, it's so all 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 perfectly healthy, except to make you know. So okay, about clothes. Uh, what here people? Because in Russia, in Russia, this may be like tradition, mm. especially for women. They would like uh, mm -hmm. uh, beautiful clothes. Uh -huh. And what here? Um, again, depends on um, where you live. Mm -hmm. Depends on your job or mm -hmm. 
your friends and things. If you live in some of the uh, cities, big cities, then uh, usually women especially dress up much more. If you live in the smaller cities, um, not as fancy with expensive clothes, um, but it's it's not a, a, a tradition to dress up uh, with expensive clothes all the time always like this. It's not a tradition at all, but people do like to look good, um, so they like to have nice things, especially teenage girls. They like to be just like in a magazine or on television or something. I think this is, I think this is the same as... Okay, and I have uh, one question for you, for hmm. you personally. What, what is the difference for you, between Russia, you were in Russia, and Americans? When I was in Russia, what was different? What is difference about culture, tradition, about everything? What uh, you uh, can see difference for you? For mm. What is different? A couple different things that I see that are very interesting uh, to me. For example, um, um, uh, you um, were very uh, comfortable, and I know this was a big uh, change, but to come here and to move here, okay? But um, I understand that. What was very surprising was how um, comfortable and it's nothing special that you are to leave your teenage daughter there, and she is basically living and acting like an adult. Um, I know her father is there, and he, but he does not have a regular uh, requirement that every night he is there. He just comes and checks a little bit. Your parents check a little bit, and she lives like an adult. And you said, oh, this is no problem. This is very safe. This is... This would be absolutely unheard of here in the United States. Um, also, you might even get a visit from a, a government agency or something, or which going, uh, you're the parent, you should be there with this. It's very, very unusual here. That was different for me. Um, that you're very comfortable and she's very comfortable and this is no big deal. Um, that's different. Um, another thing that's different is um, the um, difference in politics. And um, I see the uh, frustration uh, with watching and, and thinking what's going on there and what can you do um, and you want to, um, uh, this is your country, and thinking about this. and uh, Americans are the same. They feel very patriotic for their country, but they, they don't feel um, maybe quite so much um, um, frustration that they can do nothing. So that's, that's um, I think, um, different to see this. Um, I liked uh, the people when I was in St. Petersburg or in Moscow. Um, I could have been in an American city. Um, uh, some little bit of differences on how uh, people were. For example, you re remember how much fun I had with the waiters and the waitresses in these restaurants. I thought it was very funny. Um, and... Um, other little differences like um, not smiling. Americans smile a lot. It doesn't mean anything. But uh, to a Russian, you think this is very strange, very strange that Americans uh, smile so much. Um, um, uh, again, that's a cultural thing. Um, so um, very little um, little things, but easy things. I know that, um, I think that if an American, for example, moved to live in um, Moscow <coughs> or live in St. Petersburg, 
they would find it very, very easy to live there. Little bit differences like to buy food in a market or something like this, but they would find it very easy. I don't know how they would find it out in the uh, countryside because I think in the countryside this would be a big difference because uh, you told me that they don't have the same like the city with the um, Americans are very used to restaurants and cafes and things like this. American, you you told me in St. Petersburg that uh, people, um, um, this is a um, little common, maybe changing, but not common for the average person. Um, for the Americans, this is common for the average person. I think the Russians are changing. So an American would have a very easy time living there. Okay. And you met some women, Russian women, Ukrainian women on dating sites. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, what you can tell about these women? They... <clears throat> maybe they have uh, like similar, something similar, or they everybody very different, or they like Americans. What? For you? Mm. Um... <laughs> It's funny because uh, I met some on the dating sites uh, that were, um, I talked to, I think, two, um, two Ukrainian women. Um, I never, I never video chat, just talk on, online. Um, two, three, four Russian uh, women. Then I met two or three Russian women who were here in the United States, and I met one Russian woman who was from, I don't know, Siberia or something, and then she came to the United States, and I said, okay, we had talked a little bit, and I met this one woman there. I think that um, um, the, the uh, one, I told you, one Russian woman was very funny and crazy. She's just crazy, and I thought, this is, this She's crazy. The other um, women, both Ukrainian and the Russian women, um, all seem to be very nice. Um, and again, from an American, this is um, the same thing we talked about before. They seem to be in a hurry, push, very hurry. So um, in, I think, I don't know whether a Russian woman wants to feel um, this little, uh, like magic, this little romantic spark or something, or just in a hurry. Um, what do you think? For you, I ask you. Oh, for me. I think that a man, an American man, wants to feel this uh, magic, wants to feel romantic, um, wants to feel special. So uh, um, I think they're very, all very uh, beautiful and um, all very smart and um, I was uh, very impressed with all these women how hard they tried with their English um, so this is this is all very interesting and you asked before yes I dated American women also okay, and after when you m met these women uh, uh, you mm, you try again to meet somebody else or after this uh, you don't like this women this not your person and uh, maybe oh no enough russian for me only mm. american what uh, i never uh, separate i never said that one woman meant this is all women in russia this way it's just a, a person so um no, I never said that there's a problem with Russian women. No, 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 or Ukrainian women. They all seemed very beautiful and all seemed very uh, interesting. So just because one was crazy didn't mean they are all and crazy. What, is, what was crazy? Ah, I don't know. I think uh, th this one woman, uh, you know, women on the sites put uh, on the profile 
um, their best picture and very beautiful. This woman put her best picture and her best picture on the profile was her in a very small bikini. Uh, this was her profile picture out on a beach laying in this thing. This is, this is very interesting. Why you Exactly, because <laughs> I was very curious, because I, I think, to me, this is interesting, because both for men and for women, this is competition. So one of the things about competition is how do you get yourself noticed? So I thought, maybe this is just a very smart woman who said, well, this is, a, I have a very good, uh, beautiful body and everything. This is a way to get noticed. This is competition. So I said, okay, I'm curious. Mm -hmm. And she was crazy. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was just crazy. I don't know why she was even there because um, the first things uh, she says is that, uh, oh, all you care about is this, 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 this. And I said, I don't even know you. Uh, I said, you, you're telling me all I care about. And I go, crazy. Crazy person. So, you find all of, and I'm sure that when women uh, um, um, talk to these men and they think at first that this man is interesting and then they, one or two times they talk and they say, this man is not interesting. <laughs> this man is crazy. <laughs> dili, dili, dili. <laughs> so, same. Okay, thank you very much. Описание моего канала вы найдете под этим видео. Если видео понравилось, оставляйте свои комментарии. Я с удовольствием их читаю, но предупреждаю, хамские и оскорбительные комментарии будут удалены. Если вы хотите связаться со мной, адрес электронной почты вы найдете под видео. Мой канал для адекватных людей. И напоминаю, мои видео выходят для вас один раз в неделю. Мы встречаемся с вами каждую пятницу.